Hi, this is Paul from FinishYourSong.com. I've got a video for you here in our series looking at drums in Cubase and we're going to look at configuring a VST to have multiple outputs. What we've got here is a song that's in the process of being written and I've set up the Easy Drummer Indie Folk drums on a MIDI instrument track which is fine as far as it goes. Um, we've got access to the individual uh, sounds through the mixer in Easy Drummer but when it comes into Cubase it all comes to a single track in the mix console and it may be that we want to apply individual effects to the particular channels of the drum kit we might want to process the snare differently from the overheads so this isn't really the best that we can have and there's no reason why we have to have it on one MIDI channel. But we can't use an instrument channel to get multiple outputs. Uh, I find it very convenient to use an instrument channel from a writing point of view when you're not trying to go for the nth degree of production. But once you do get to the mixing stage, what you need to be able to do is to readily alter your configuration so that you get those extra tracks to work with. And what we're going to have a look at here is doing just that. So I'll make some space on screen so you can see what's going on. And the first thing we're going to do is go into Devices and we're going to VST Instruments, which opens this rack here, and we're going to add Easy Drummer. And we're going to create a MIDI track. And what we're going to do is we're going to get to load up the Indie Folk Easy X, and there it goes, loading it up for us. Now at the moment it's created one output, Easy One, and it's created a MIDI track, Easy Drummer 01, for drums. So what we're going to do is we're going to first of all configure this to have more than one output. And in fact, if we open the mixer, you'll see that we have two, four, six, eight, ten potential tracks available to us. Now, I don't want ten tracks. I want one for the kick drum, one for the snare, one for the hi-hat, one for the toms, one for the overheads, and one for the ambience. So what I'm going to do is to configure accordingly. I want one, two, three, four, five, six, seven output channels and I'm going to configure these to be with them. So if we go back to here, you'll see this little arrow here and that activates all outputs. Well, we're going to activate that and then we're going to deactivate number eight. It's easier to click twice than seven times. That's all that's about. And so now we're going to go through and label these as Kick drum, air drum, hi hat, toms, And then if we go back into our Easy Drummer, we open the mixer, we can now reallocate these to track two. And there we have it. What I'm also going to do is for the moment is go across and control click on all of these to give me zero output. I will adjust the balances in Cubase's mix console rather than in the easy mixer. So now what is happening is these are being directed out to the different tracks. The kick drums pan to the center, the snare drums pan to the center, the hi-hats panned over to one side. 
So in fact we'll control click to bring that back. We'll alter the panning in Cubase. The rack tom is spread across the stereo image. The overheads are on and they're panned fully left and right as is the room mics and the mono room mic is in the middle. If we now have a look in our mix console we'll see that we've got all of those tracks there and they're all available to us. So what we'll do now is we'll scoop up the whole of that MIDI, pull it down onto that Easy Drummer and we'll relabel that drum MIDI and we'll delete that channel. We don't need that anymore. Having it around just costs us um, memory because all the samples will be loaded into it. And then we pull that up into our drum folder. If we now have a look in our mix console, we'll see that the drums have all migrated over to where we want them, in the order we want them. All you have to do now is recolor them. And we've now got our MIDI drum MIDI part, which will now play through the Easy Drummer. And just to prove it, I'm going to set it going and you'll see the signal coming through on the different tracks. bit hit and miss but you get the idea. Now we're in a position to mix our tracks and we can apply all of the effects in Cubase's mix console to the drums individually rather than having to group treat them in the single channel that we had before. Hope that helps. Until next time, take care of yourselves.